Hello, I'm Donna from the training team, and in this video, I want to give you a closer look at the Home Life Stamp Set and Welcome Home Framelits. Both can be purchased in a bundle, which is the best way for you to add them to your crafting supplies. The stamp set and the framelits have some great features that you'll want to know about before you use them for the first time. Let's start with the stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set and there are two sheets of stamps in the set. They have some great sentiments that pair well together for the outside and inside of your cards. For example, there is congratulations for the outside of your card and you can pair that with an inside sentiment of on starting a new home together. And this big banner piece right here it's sized perfectly for congratulations, welcome, and you're invited to fit nicely inside of it. These three images here can be stamped individually, but when you combine all three, they create one spectacular image. Let me show you what I mean. This is what the images look like when stamped separately. And this is what they look like when they're combined into one image. Now it works best if you stamp the flowers first, then the leaves, then the smaller flowers and the dots. And to help you remember to stamp them in that order, it's marked on the stamp sheet right above the image. See, there's one, two, and three. To help you know which direction to stamp the images, this part right here indicates where the top of the stamp is. And here's another important tip you'll want to know about these stamps. To get the three images to line up perfectly, you'll want to be careful when removing the stamps from the sheet so you don't stretch or pull them out of shape. Now I recommend pulling back this sheet like this and then placing your clear mount block on top and removing the stamp that way. This will help keep it in the correct shape. I also recommend having three E clear blocks when working with this stamp set. It will save you so much time when stamping if each image is mounted on its own block. You can create some really fun images with this stamp set, but when you combine the stamped images with the Welcome Home Framelit dies, your projects become just a little bit more amazing. These eight pieces can be cut out and added to your projects however you would like. And these three pieces can be cut out on their own, or they also coordinate with some of the stamped images from the Home Life stamp set. Now this piece right here I think is really clever. You can stamp the flower images, then use this framelit piece to cut out several of the flowers. And if you want to stamp this banner image right here, then cut it out with the framelit die. Here's a tip on how to keep the stamp in the correct shape so the framelit will cut out perfectly. Pull the stamp from the sheet then nest it on top of the framelit. Then place the clear block on top of the stamp to mount it. This will ensure the stamp is in perfect alignment with the framelit when you cut it out. Here's a project where the stamp set and the framelits have been combined to create something quite beautiful. See how those flowers have been stamped, cut out using the framelits, and then popped up on the card to add some dimension. There are so many creative possibilities with the Home Life stamp set and the Welcome Home framelit dies. Order both in a bundle by contacting your demonstrator or visiting stampinup.com. Happy stamping!